I want to demonstrate how to use grape software to make a two-phase flip. In this example, I'm going to have a flip picture that goes from day to night as the viewer walks by. So first thing to do is launch the grape software. It wants a job file. I hit the cancel button and I'm going to start fresh. So first of all, it wants the printing density on the Epson printer I use that would be 720 pixels per inch. So I'm going to put in those values. Then the measured pitch. For the flip, I'm making a flip on 40 LPI. It actually pitches out in my case to 39.92. So that's the value I'll enter. Picture width, I want it to be about uh, 7 by 7 inches, so I'll hit 178 by 178 millimeters. Margin height, I'll use its default for 5 millimeters. That's basically a registration margin that will go around the uh, picture. Now, the images I have are in JPEG format, so I can leave the image format the same. Uh, sequence direction, in this case, I don't have to worry about that. That's more for a 3D picture. So I'm going to submit that, and it wants me to save the job. So I'll do that. I'm going to pick my grape software and I'll call this flip demonstration. We'll save that. Now it's asking me to choose my image sequence. So I have something here called the water tower flip. It's four frames, a frame of day, two frames of night, and a frame of day. And the idea is that when you view this print straight on, you'll see the center frames. So I'll pick my first frame, open that up. It's now reading the images and it's going to do the interlacing of the files. That's all done. It's asking me to save the interlace image. So I'll do that on my desktop. And I'll call that water tower flip 39.92. How about Water Tower Flip Demo 39.92? All right, let's open Photoshop and open our picture, which is on the desktop. Here it is. So if we zoom in, you can see the individual lines that are alternating from our pictures. You go to the very top of this, you can see the registration pattern. So the pattern on the left, there's a thick uh, black line on the top and on the bottom, and the same pattern is repeated on the right edge. What I do when I line the sheet is I lay the lenticular sheet onto this print, I look at the left edge, and I get this thin black line to run from top to bottom to match where the two black lines are. And then I look at the center pattern, and you'll see a thick line superimposed over a thin line, and you just move the sheet ever so slightly so the thick and thin lines line up, and you're done. It's a super easy system for registering the lens to the print. So that's my demonstration of Grape software and how you use it to make a flip print. Hope you enjoyed it.